in the early sort of evolution of cosplay, what was happening was, you know, the costumes were starting to get better, the pictures were starting to get better, so it was this slow build for Ricky till one day she's getting invited to go overseas. And she's like, this is really, like, do you think this is legitimate? I thought, yeah, I thought I was being punked, like, all the time. <laughs> like, even when I got invited here, I'm like, someone's punking me. Like, this is going to go. This and isn't I, a thing. People yeah, don't do Yeah, I'm going to get, like, I'm going to come off the plane and no one's going to be there. <laughs> so it kept happening more and more and more. And that's when we were like, wow, this is evolving into something completely new. And our goal has always been, well, her, her little phrase is uh, take uh, the art of costuming seriously, just don't take yourself seriously. Because yeah. at the end of the day, you're wearing wigs and it's, Wearing you know, a lot of spandex. I, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm a wizard right now. <laughs> just, I can't really take myself seriously as a wizard. I think at its core, you should love what you're doing. You shouldn't cosplay to become famous because there are much easier ways to be successful <laughs> and much easier ways to be famous. But um, it, I like to say cosplay is a great stepping stone. Use cosplay as a hobby to learn the skills of the job you'd like to have. Say, for instance, you're really into special effects makeup. Do some cosplays that have special effects makeup, teach yourself, so then when the opportunity comes out, you'll be like, I have a good basis to develop on top of. I'm not the greatest seamstress, I'm not the greatest mold maker, I'm not the greatest at anything, but I have a good basis of a lot of things which make me a valuable asset on set. That's what we try to concentrate on, is just going back to the skills and the learning and using that stuff to move forward because any, yeah, I mean, going back to anybody that basically says, well, I want to be famous, well, that, that's get, that could blow up in your face. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, and even now, like, I mean. I don't Ricky's, consider myself yeah, famous. Yeah, like, Ricky's, Ricky's known in the cosplay world, but that's it. It's like, if, you know, if she steps outside, they're going to be like, who's this crazy person walking <laughs> down the street? Um, but what's really um, weird for those who of you who do want to do cosplay as a career, I don't want to turn you away, but I do want to give you this scenario. When you're 70, do you want to be behind a table in a thong and five inch heels? I know in two years when I'm 70, I don't want to be in a thong. <laughs> but so you have to think of different ways to, to branch out, you know, um, to have different streams of revenue. Cosplay doesn't, at least in the States, give you health insurance. You know, it's, there are girls making a living, but what quality of life is it? Cosplay is, for those of you, I'm looking at you guys because you guys cosplay. It's a very expensive hobby. So you've got to be smart and think long term.